Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, and welcome to Unturned 3.6.6. Nelson updated the game again tonight, and this time I'm actually on time. I don't have to upload it the next day. I'm actually here this time, so I'm able to do this update video as soon as possible. Nelson updated this game like 15 minutes ago and added some pretty cool stuff, and also added some much needed improvements as well. I'm going to go over all of them in this video, but first off, let's go through the tangible additions into the game. First up, binoculars. Very cool. In my inventory, these are the binoculars right here. When you equip them, they just kind of sit there at the bottom of the screen and when you hold right click as if you're looking down the scope of a weapon it will zoom in really far. The only thing that it really needs is the little binocular outline but I really like how it zooms in like that whereas like before when you equipped binoculars it would kind of just instantaneously zoom in really far so now you're kind of able to be guided to the location at which you're zooming into and also it gets rid of the UI so that's pretty cool the only thing it needs is just that little binocular outline but this is how far it zooms in which is pretty cool um, I don't know exactly how much it is but I'm gonna look in the game files and see how much zoom that is and I'll put it on the screen right now but those are the binoculars very cool they have an ID of 333 next up with an ID of 334 we have night vision goggles very cool now when you equip them they automatically turn on the night vision um, but they also are put on the glasses slot of your character so you aren't going to be able to put on a ban- well maybe you maybe you won't be able to put on a bandana but like you won't be able to put like a monocle on stuff like that so as you can see my monocle is right here but if I were to equip it it takes it off so it goes on your little glasses slot but you're still able to put a hat on you're still able to put a uh, bandanas on all that stuff if you'd like to toggle night vision on and off you just press N same as it was in Unturned 2.0 and so here's what it looks like in daytime you're obviously not going to use it in daytime so I'm going to set it to nighttime and this is what it looks like in nighttime look at that you can see everything it's all fancy but then when you click N look at that it's it's, it's an amazing improvement seriously like um, down here like let's use our binoculars to kind of show off how how much of an improvement it is so equip the binoculars turn off night vision and you like you want to see down there like for, especially for you guys like right now I'm in full screen I'm playing like actually on the game but after you got after you guys are going through the whole YouTube processing system usually it's a lot darker than it seems for me on my end so I'm kind of able to see these trees but I turn on night vision now and we all can see those trees so very nice those are night those are the night vision goggles my only recommendation and it's been something that I've always wanted ever since Unturned 2.0 is to make it to where when it's daytime it should just be white it should just be impossible to see out of it because sometimes I'll be like going through the whole day and I'll be like wow I really hate this green and I press N and I find out that it's noon so like I just wasted half my day wearing these green tinted goggles so I kinda wish there would be some sort of indicator on whether or not it's day and there's no need to be using your night vision goggles and even in real life and when you're equipping night vision goggles during daytime it'll like make you go blind so anyway those are those are the night vision goggles in Unturned 3.0 I'm gonna turn it back into daytime next up we have the first vegetable in Unturned 3.0 that is not a carrot so we have carrots up here and I've also planted a bunch of carrots over here which are fully harvestable now but um, in the last update video I planted a ton of these and now they are harvestable and also in one of the improvements that Nelson did in this update he made it to where the radius of which like when you're harvesting plants it's not as big so like before when I had my agriculture skill up which I'll just make it go up real quick there we go it spawned two carrots but sometimes it would fall in between the cracks and stuff and now when you harvest them they always spawn extremely close to the plant so the radius of of the item drops is a lot smaller which is pretty cool I don't know if Nelson like watched the video or something but I, I thought it was pretty cool that he updated that right after I posted the video but anyway so now there's no there's not as much worrying as to whether or not these things will fall in the in the cracks of your little planters but anyway now I'm just gonna kind of clear all this out so I can plant in some corn and now you can equip the corn seed which has an ID of 336 or maybe it's 335 well, okay you know I'll just figure it out 335 is corn alright so 335 is corn 336 is seeds so the seeds have an ID of 336 um, so it looks like immediately they have a lot taller sticks 
And so I'm assuming that that means that when it's fully grown, it'll be a massive plant, but it might also require a bit more space between the two. Yeah, a bit more. And they also have white sticks rather than brown sticks. See, before I was able to really compact these together, but now you kind of got to space them apart a bit more. They are bigger plants, so you're going to need to do that. But anyway, that's what they look like when they're not fully grown. And if you take a bit of fertilizer on one of the plants, it grows super tall like so. And when you press F on it, it drops two corn this time because I have my agriculture skill on max. But otherwise, it would only drop one corn. And these corns refill, well, 20% um, or more. I'm going to look in the game files to see how much they refill exactly. Um, but it's more than 20, so we know that. And it also refilled a bit of my thirst, so I'm going to eat it again see what happens. And it refills... 5% of your thirst. Not too much at all, but it's better than nothing. Anyway, so that's the corn and how you plant them. Very cool. You can also plant them just like the um, the carrots on the grass outside if you aren't able to craft these planters as well. And I'm just going to do a quick check in the barricade section, and you can turn corn back into seeds. And I can also plant them outside if I'd like to, but I don't think that they will... Well, maybe. I don't know. I haven't actually done any testing, to be honest. Like, in Unturned 2.0, I haven't done any testing or not. Uh, but I believe that they grow faster in planters, but I don't know, speculation here. In terms of the improvements, lots of it was oriented around placeable objects. He made it to where the lining up of walls and, and placeable objects and ladders up against walls has all been tweaked in order for it to fit better and not be blocking each other. Um, he did that to ramps and ladders and, and, and planters and all that crap. He also fixed some mix-ups between skills, but most of them were pretty minor. If you guys would like to check out those, I will put the full update post in the description down below. But that is all I have for now for the Unturned 3.6.6 update. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that gibberish because me like Big Boom is out. I wonder what'll happen if I throw a grenade in there. Oh, mom, my plans!